Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Here's the Lewis Tully Plasma Phenomenon Expansion Pack. I wanted to open this up and do an unboxing before I played with it to kind of just show you what's in here and what you're going to get. You're going to get the Gigaplasma inside. You're going to get some new miniatures, a new scenario. And I like this. It's one of the few things that came in a box. I felt like more of it was going to come in a box. The rest of it came in little baggies. But this and Slimer with the Ghostbusters 2 expansion came in a box, which I appreciate. I like the artwork on it. I like that it, the way it looks. Because everything doesn't really fit into the base box, having these additional boxes is really neat. Now, I will be opening this up to play with it, but I wanted to kind of show you what came inside of it. You're going to get some things to pop here. You're going to get some additional tiles. This thing is this kind of place in here. And I'll show you everything when I do the component breakthrough after I played it for a while. But I just kind of wanted to show you how it came packaged. You're looking at a flimsy little piece of that in there and everything else in there. So what I'll do is I'm going to pop this. I'm going to play it a few times. I'll come back to you in a few days and we'll check this out. So here's kind of what you're going to get with the Tully expansion. You're going to get some of these cards here that you can utilize. And what you're going to get are these big cardboard things. They're not printed on hard cardboard. They're kind of flimsy, but they just sit on the board. You're going to get Tully here with his special powers and his track that will be coming across. You're going to get some new monsters. The Theater Ghost, which is a Class 4 mini boss. The Titanic Ghost, which is a Class 2. Gigoplasma, which is humongous. Hemoplasma, which is a Class 2. And you're going to get a new scenario here. I'm not going to show you everything. It's going to come with four four scenarios with one campaign. I don't want any spoilers to come out of that, but know that it's there. You can kind of see how it's set up. So these are nice. I like having Tully Rick Moranis as a favorite. So you're going to get the Spectral Carriage rule set that will be in it. Mine came in my Kickstarter version, so I'm getting two of those. And then you're going to get some of these little Spectral Carriage tokens. These are very thick, very nice. You're going to get a trap set for Tully. That will be utilized his color. And then his streamers that you will get. And a couple of these little caustic ones that you'll be able to utilize for him. You're also going to get four new tiles, which I'll just show you here. Of what they look like, double-sided. And this one's kind of cool. It says Rays on it, which is nice, obviously. And that place is Dirt Hay. And you're going to get this one for C3 and M3. The ladder is pretty cool. And this one right here. So that's kind of what you're looking at. If you want a longer look, you can pause those. You're going to get a number of cards. So you're going to have some event cards and some equipment cards that will come with it. So you're going to get Lockman's Guide to the Lower Regions, Plasma Disruptor, Ethereal Solidifier, Arm-Mounted Proton Pack, which is really cool. Then you get a couple of these that you'll be able to utilize. I don't want to show you too much of these for spoiler purposes. You might want to be surprised for those. So you're going to get eight cards total. And then we're going to get some miniatures in here. We're going to get this guy who is the biggest in the set. You can see the wings coming out. I also had one of him in our Kickstarter, I believe. So we have him. And then we're going to have uh, clips and these little things that will come with it. Here is a Titanic lady. She was included in the Kickstarter. And you can see ready to go. So we're going to get three, four, five of those. And then we're going to look at Tully here. Here he is with a rounded top. And I've shown him in the Kickstarter. It looks like I have doubles of him. But there he is in all his glory. And we'll show you on the back side of those. You can see the proton pack and the ectoplasma. Very cool. So that's what you're going to get in this. I think the Lewis Tully expansion is really good. I like having the additional characters. I do like the inclusion of the spectral. Now between this and the Slimer, I'd probably get Slimer first. I think I like that one better. You do get additional scenario, with, uh, four scenarios, which make up one campaign, which is really nice. You know, more of that, more of that variety really pushes this game forward. And you do get some new ghosts, et cetera, that are in here that you can utilize. Some of that was already in the Kickstarter, at least in my copy, uh, with my pledge level. And this, uh, this seems redundant to me. You do get this giant piece of Mega Plasma, which came in the base game. So now I have two of those. So all of this is repeat for me with my pledge. Not sure how I got a hold of that, but if you were just getting this expansion by itself, I think you didn't have that stuff. I think there's a lot in here that you can utilize. And this piece right here is just totally cool how it breaks apart and it's just humongous. And you saw me drop it and just how big it is. And this is just a ton of plastic here. So really cool set. I do think summer went a little bit better, but your mileage may vary depending on what you're what you're looking for in the game. Whether you would have slime or written brands or just do what I do and get both. And I think that you have a really good time with it. So excellent. I do like this. And variety really helps this game. I keep saying that in these reviews. 
because the game is kind of simple. It's a family level game, and I think variety is going to keep it fresh rather than gameplay, and which is okay. There's a lot of games like that, and I don't think it distracts from the game. But I think more stuff is good for this. I think that you'll enjoy this quite a bit. Keeper for us. We like the Ghostbusters 2 for a family game, and we'll be keeping this in the set. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. Let's us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching, and everybody else, keep